Hey y'all, it's your girl Tashonda Renee and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm making a quick dish. I'm making a cheesy shepherd's pie. So if you would like to see how I do it, please stay tuned. All right, this dish is really easy. You're gonna start out by browning a pound and a half of ground meat. I'm using ground turkey. To that, I'm gonna add one medium onion diced. I'm gonna use quite a bit of seasonings. I'm gonna use kosher salt, black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder, smoked paprika, Creole seasoning, Italian seasoning, and crushed red pepper flakes. If you wanna add additional seasonings, feel free. You can definitely make this your own. Cook your meat until it's completely brown and your onions are translucent. Once it is done, you're gonna add about a tablespoon of garlic paste, a tablespoon of A1 sauce, and about a tablespoon and a half of tomato paste. Mix that in as well as you can and allow it to cook for about a minute. Then you're gonna add your vegetables. I'm using one 12 ounce bag of frozen peas and carrots, and I'm also gonna add a can of whole kernel corn, stir that in, and then you're gonna add about a tablespoon and a half of all-purpose flour. Mix the flour in, and you're gonna allow that to cook for about two to three minutes to allow that raw flour taste to cook off. After a few minutes of allowing that to cook, you're gonna start adding some chicken broth, or you can even use veggie broth. If you're using ground beef, you can go ahead and use beef broth. Either way, you're not gonna need much, just about three fourths of a cup. So you're just gonna go ahead and stir that in and then you can transfer your meat into your baking dish. I'm using an eight by eight baking dish. This recipe serves about four to six people. If you need more, you this is an easy recipe to double, so you can definitely double it. You're gonna spread it evenly in the baking dish and then you wanna add mashed potatoes on top of it. Now, I did make homemade mashed potatoes, but that is in a separate video. I'll be sure to link the recipe for those mashed potatoes down in the description box. This is a really easy recipe, so if you're trying to keep it simple and easy, you can use instant mashed potatoes or you can even buy the store-bought store, store -bought mashed potatoes. Um, either would work perfectly fine. You're just going to spread the mashed potatoes across the dish as evenly as you can. And then optional, I'm going to add mild cheddar cheese on top of mine. Um, typically, shepherd's pie does not have cheese on top, but I do like mine with cheese. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, you can even use sharp cheddar cheese. I like it that way as well. Um, but I'm just going to add a thin layer of cheese across the top. And then I'm going to bake it on 375 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like once it comes out of the oven. This is a very simple and easy dish to make. And it is delicious. Allow it to sit for about 10 minutes once it comes out of the oven before you serve it. Be sure to check out the description box if you're interested in all the ingredients and measurements that I use to make this. Um, I definitely think you'll enjoy it if you give it a try. If you have not already done so, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.